Gentlemen, this is Elijah Gishiro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, click the subscribe button and um, watch my content. Like I said, this is the greatest YouTube in the Republic of Kenya, and the EE my name stands for exactly what you need now. A video surfaced online uh, from from this guy called as. Odivau photography, yeah, Odivive, Odivau photography is the owner of the video. And this video uh, is very interesting because it shows how resilient the Azimio Brigade was to flash out police officers from uh, their estates as they marched towards Nairobi CBD. This video is full of. Um, tenacity so to speak from the uh, side of um, the side of the opposition members because these people actually managed to repulse armed police officers who were armed with tear gas canisters and shields back to Nairobi CBD as if that was not enough they were able to even get the police shield and hold it and get it. You know, I guess in the fracas of running up and down, one police dropped the shield and these guys took the shield and ran with it. I mean, it was a full troop, a lorry of police officers and they were forced back away by this group. And the reason why the police officers had to give in to them is these people were using stones and you know stone is a very lethal weapon very very lethal because um, it can kill it can maim it can cause blindness it can do many many damage and the only weapon these people the police have is a shield and the tear gas as a matter of fact that is the only weapon they are authorized to use in such a scenario you know they can't shoot to kill and they they they, they actually don't have any other weapon apart from the shield and the and the tear gas canisters and even if they have guns just to shoot in there to scare the protesters and so it became very hard for the police officers because the, actually one thing that caused the, the, the repulsion is because these guys would pick the tear gas canisters and throw them back to police.
police officer. You get. So the police will fire the tear gas and before the tear gas will even load, they will fire back to police. In fact, there's a there's a point at which one tear gas canister actually fell inside the police lorry. Guys, inside the police lorry. And what can a tear gas canister do when it's inside the police lorry? You know the smoke will be concentrated there and it will force these police officers to flee or to move away from that lorry. And that is what happened, guys. They were forced to, to move out, you know, to throw it back to them and eventually these guys they pushed the police to the limits and the police fled and these guys managed to get to the city. But guys, this was the first time ever, the first ever, ever demonstration that Raila Molotinga vowed to go from Kamkonji to CBD and he actually made it to CBD. I mean, actually, but the, but this was the thinking of Raila Molodinga saying if, if this route is blocked, there are so many ways to roam and if one route is blocked, we'll use the next route. If the other route is blocked, we'll use it. So it confuses police officers because these people are not using one route. They change routes, you know. You can't really predict where they'll come from. You know, remember a case the other day when they used a decoy vehicle. So police think they are chasing Raila, but it's not Raila inside the vehicle. It's other people in the convoy of protesters. So it's it's a mixture of tenacity, wit, you know, to outsmart police officers. And this time around, they managed to get to Kenyatta. I mean, imagine, guys, for all the way from uh dispersed around the country so Kalonzo went to the, the eastern region he comes to Chakos in those places Kalonzo went to Kirinaga to Kirinaga like she comes from to leave the demos he didn't see Jeremiah Kiyomis that he was bring the police in Nyandaro and was arrested in Nyandaro and was arrested and he used that divisionary tactics so that um, one they are Protests can be national, can have a national problem. To paint the old country, but the future is not the same. Guys, it was such a, <laughs> an ugly weakness, and the deputy president actually responded and said, He was very Things that you would not expect. So, this is our call to the government to up their game to protest weapons used in protest. There are other weapons apart from tear gas and, uh, and uh, water cannons that, that don't kill but they will achieve the desired impact, which is to, to repulse the protesters. Okay? So, don't just rely on those yeah, things like paper sprays, there are other ways that you can because now the I'm saying is if that continues and the police are overpowered. Uh, the attendant of the if police are out of the tear they can continue to repulse protesters. What will these people do they decide to do wrong on businesses? What would they do on innocent Kenyans in the streets about their businesses? Okay. So there's need for the police also to invest in materials that can actually house these people. Um, yeah, to be expected. Also, it's very wrong for protesters to use stones of police. From the onset, Raila Mulu Dinga said the demonstrations should be peaceful and must be kept peaceful. But for some reason, the protesters were in point that even stones are not peaceful. I don't know if they get stones from there. They were feeling they know they come from wherever they come from and they come with stones. And it's just a pleasant thing. Because they witnessed 
death during protest with his bloodshed. such a because the government provides for, or the constitution provides for peaceful protests whereby you are not armed, you, you just walk on your own and then you, you say what you want to say. You carry stones when you pass tear glass canisters to police. It becomes a very dangerous fight that can actually have a casualties. Uh, because at that point, in fact, you know, okay, I'm a, 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 a gun loser, police is authorized to use this fire on some conditions. One, his life is threatened. So, if you are threatened, you know, for police officer, that's true. Because you can actually kill him, and people come to protest with catapults, which are very deadly. Others come with the. They call the words, they swim. Rolling stones, and these are not easy weapons, they are weapons that are easily killed. And after that point, the police officers are authorized to use their firearms because their lives is in danger. And if you can actually walk to a police officer and take his shield and his use to protect his life, you know, then that police officer is authorized to use their firearms because you are risking his life. Okay. You risk his career. Even mm -hmm. police officers actually want to get into the government. So, the government can't tell you how to lose police officers. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm your guy, Lady Yashua, will continue bringing you the latest and everything that is worth it. I mean, please subscribe, watch, like, and share this content. For now, it's a goodbye. Adios.